basically this all happened about two years ago. I suffered a, a series of micro strokes in my eyes. In the process, I lost about 60% of my eyesight in my left eye and about 25% um, of my eyesight in my right eye, uh, which is obviously overnight life-changing for me. So it didn't take central acuity out of my right eye, but it did in my left eye, and, and so it was very uh, disturbing. I, I, I immediately went to an eye doctor, uh, and they basically said that uh, we need steroid treatments to stop this. And you might want to prepare yourself to being for, for being completely blind because uh, we're not sure if we can do anything about it. So first thing I thought is, you know, what can I do to reverse this? And, and, and just about every uh, eye doctor that I've ever talked to said, you can't. Uh, if, you, if you take damage to your optic nerve, it's pretty much permanent. And so at the end of all this, you're left with very little, very little to hang on to other than hoping that you don't wake up and your eyesight's worse than it was the, the, the day before. And uh, it's not a great, it's not a great position to be in. I'm an engineer. I seldom s accept uh, one answer uh, as as the only answer. So I started down the path of personal personal research, and uh, through that process, I am coming across a video on YouTube that that talked about this clinic, and, and it was um, the author of of a book called Going Blind. Um, who, who had made this video. And so I had uh, three or four doctors that I was talking to all the time about the process. I ended up showing them this video and said, what do you think of this? Um, the neuro-ophthalmologist initially um, reacted as if uh, they'd never heard of it and they were a bit skeptical about it, but she was very open-minded to it as well. The functional doctor, on the other hand, um, um, really was fantastic and he says you know you really should look into this they do this for nerve fibers all over the body they do it for you know, the healing of, of muscles and tendons and all this stuff throughout the body and there's no reason to think that the that the optic nerve responds any different than any other nerve fiber in your body so keep looking into this and keep feeding me information and I'll help you sort of analyze this at the same time and that kind of energized me um, more than anything else energized me to keep moving on and pursuing what this could possibly what this could possibly do for me maybe people worry about it but for the most part it's it's pretty easy process to, to come here Magdeburg is a beautiful place uh, lots of lots of options in the way of hotels and all that type of stuff so um, although I didn't necessarily know where I was going it was pretty easy to find something that was relatively close well to start with like I said I came in pretty skeptical. I went to see the neuro-ophthalmologist in the beginning. I was very happy with it, his knowledge and I asked him a lot of questions. It was interesting to see sort of a little different perspective and everybody's very positive sitting in the waiting room. We met, uh, we met people from the United States. We met people from everywhere. We ended up going to dinner with a, with a wonderful couple uh, from the United States as a matter of fact. Just having them to sit and talk to, you, you realize, so you realize that they're going through the same thing. It's really almost therapeutic sitting out in the waiting room having having some of those conversations. The very first or second day, something happened with me, and I didn't I didn't understand what it was. I, I could um, I could focus on things much easier. I could read I could read words much easier. All of a sudden, I could glance at something and process it, and and I was confused by this. It was strange to me. It felt so much better than the last two years that I've been that I've been struggling with this. So that was the first thing that I really felt. Um, there's a few places in my vision that are completely blind, and I've been able to see through those for a few years. I mean, completely. In the in this process, early in the second week, I I felt as though maybe there was some light showing up. The test then showed that the blind spots in my vision, even the stuff that was black, that they that when I came in said don't expect anything out of these areas, those are turning gray and, and actually shrinking. And it, it kind of gave me the chills, thinking, you know what, maybe, maybe uh, there is more capability of recovery than I ever thought there was in the past. You know, I, you, you try not to be too excited about it, right? You try to mute that because you, you don't want to uh, gain so much expectation that you can't achieve that. But at the same time, it really feels like something is changing. The most emotional thing for me is that um, I had no hope before, and and I have hope now. You know, somebody's doing something out there that uh, that 
can really can really help and really improve my life. So that's that, that that's probably the greatest change. <laughs> so before the process, I actually um, went to my doctor and I said, really, I want a, a baseline set of testing here because as much for any as as much for me, but I want you guys to understand this as well. I mean, nobody in the U.S. does this right now. I understand uh, there's some clinical trials happening. And then when I come here, I have, especially my right eye, I have exactly the same. It, it overlays perfectly. So I know the test. I mean, the good news is I know the test is, the test is identical, right? So um, I'll tell you, one of the hardest things about this whole thing was that um, that there was a possibility of one uh, one thing that could help and that's this right one thing that could help so it's a little bit scary approaching this and finding out that answer and you found out this you know if this didn't help you're back to the point where you have no hope again that hurts more than anything else thinking there's nothing else out there that I can find uh, that can possibly help me the great news for me is that not only did it help right now I can already I can already see the effects right now but also um, that nobody says that it's helped as much as it can help so I can always come back and do this again yeah I'm uh, I'm gonna go back and try and get my uh, my doctor to endorse the process because so many people in that clinic mm -hmm. hundreds of people come through there a day and if they don't understand that there is hope somewhere mm -hmm. there's a possibility this is something we should have in the United States for sure, um, and I want I want my doctor to to understand that they should be that that she and her partner should be sending people here, mm -hmm. uh, or at least letting them know that this is this is a possibility.